Hey, planner people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you all a collab plan with me. This plan with me is with Jess from My Magical Planner, and I'm super excited to show you all how it turned out. So Jess came up with this challenge, and it is to use a journaling kit in a vertical planner. So it's thinking outside the box and just basically using your stash. So the journaling kit that we're using is from Sticker Guru. She's not using the same one as me, but our kit is from Sticker Guru. And I, of course, pulled in a doll. <laughs> My doll is from Stick With Katie. I also pulled in Washi from Paper Minty and Simply Watercolor Co. And then I pulled in some Craft Washi from Etsy. I don't know, y'all. Just type in Craft Washi, Craft Paper Washi maybe, and it should come up. And what else did I use? I used some Illustrated by Cowie. But mainly, like, everything came from the kit, the two-page journaling kit. The one that I specifically am using is called August. It's basically just... Uh, add on to their monthly kit. So Sticker Guru came out with a set of monthly kits for the year and then they have the matching weekly kits and now they have the matching journaling kits. So you should definitely check them out because they have a lot of good stuff and a lot of good options. So I did end up grabbing a sheet from my monthly kit to tie into this spread because it had like the date dots and a few like decorative boxes that I wanted to use. So I think it all ended up working out. I also pulled in stickers from Sadie Stickers and Indian Ivy Ink and Paper Dolls, Sticker Guru, and who else? I think I pulled in some Happy Daya, but just a lot of different little stickers to fill in my spread. This spread took me about, <laughs> I think, a little over an hour. And I just was like, why? <laughs> because like, I'm not using nearly as many stickers as I would if it was a regular spread. But that's fine. I just had to use my brain a little harder this week <laughs> for this spread. So I'm not mad about that. But yeah, it did take me a little while. I think as I continue to do this type of style in this planner, I feel like I will be able to get faster because, yeah, I was a little all over the place trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do, how I wanted to, it to look. Because, I mean, it's hard coming from a mini kit, full kit to nothing. So, yeah, I had to use my, my brain a little bit there. The reason why we decided to do this collab is because we really are following the trends, right? So right now the tre the trends of the planning community is journaling, like it's a thing, right? It's a whole vibe out there. So we thought it would be cool to pull in a journaling kit or use a journaling kit by itself in a vertical planner. I think this will be a good way to save some money. And I just think it's good to just use those extra stickers that you might have from using a vertical kit, right? So for the most part, we're buying the kit, the journaling, and then the florals. So then you're not going to be using every last piece of <laughs> your stickers, right? So I think this will be a cool way to use up the rest of those stickers. So just some ideas to throw out there to get people using their stash. And I think it turned out really cute. I really love it. And I'm really buying journaling kits just because I think they're cute and I want to use them in my journaling planner my journal but I feel like seeing this I could def use it in my vertical planner I also really like how the Hobonicho Hobonicho I really like how the Hobonichi cousin people's spreads look and I just feel like I should be able to do that style in any planner, right? I feel like you can do any type of style in any planner. And so like, that's why I don't really hop on like planner trends, like to buy a planner just to do a certain type of trend. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Like I want to buy a planner because I need to use it. Not just because I want to do 
a certain style. So I feel like this was a good way to test out a Hobonichi style in a regular planner. Um, I really feel like, like I said, I feel like we should be able to do anything, any type of idea in our planners, even if it's not that same specific planner, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like a Hobonichi cousin person should be able to use a vertical kit in their Hobonichi. Uh, I know like the boxes are different, but if that's what you want to use, I feel like you should be able to buy them stickers and use it, right? And vice versa. Like I should be able to buy a Hobonichi cousin kit and use it in my vertical planner. <laughs> like it's not made for it, but I feel like it works for it. Okay. So that's really where or why I wanted to really execute this challenge because I wanted to see if I could do it. I really liked how it ended up turning out. I basically just did like a mock spread. Uh, these plans really happened, but <laughs> I haven't planned it in my regular planner yet. So I thought it would be cool to just use this week to kind of be my base or my foundation. So nothing much really happened this week. I got a few happy mails from Scribble Prince Co., Pip Sticks, Alu, um, who else did I get happy mail from? C. Amy Draw, Taylor May, Panda Bird. It was a good week, y'all, because all those happy mails were lit. Um, I was just coming back from my week off from the job because I took a week off for Joy's birthday. So yeah, even though I feel like I needed more time because I was doing so much running around for the week that I feel like I didn't get no time to just chill out. I also purchased a new planner. Speaking of following a trend, y'all, I also purchased a new planner from Erin Condren. I really wanted the compact vertical. After I bought it, I was like, girl, you could have probably just used your journal <laughs> to do that, but that's fine. I got a planner and I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be so cute. I cannot wait to use it. It's going to be for my baby's school to stay on top of like homework and stuff because like she's getting, she's not exactly like, I feel like third grade is when they like really need to focus and pay attention like a lot. Of course, you need to pay attention the whole time, but I feel like third grade is when like the grades start to matter and like, like this is your grade for real, for real. It's not like, girl, you did your work in A. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I feel like I want to, you know, start getting myself in to the routine of making sure things are getting done because like for the most part, elementary, I feel like we responsible for their grades. I mean, fifth grade, I think you've kind of like let them do them. But for the most part, like we're doing the homework. So I need to be on top of it because my baby need all A's because she got all A's and B's last year. And I just feel like why, like we did the work, but nonetheless, we're going to do it right and handle it. So, yeah, so I wanted a new planner for that. And then also I can use it for work and just use up some stickers, y'all. Really, I'm just trying to use up these stickers because I just have too many and I can't stop by. I ruined my desk. My desk has a huge stain on it. And someone reached out to me and told me how to get it off. I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, it's a stain. So I want a mat. I want a desk mat. So let me cry real quick. So I wanted the desk mat from Go Mine and Coco. Go Mine and Coco had a anniversary box. Of course, I didn't buy it. Like her stuff be hot. I can't. I can't do it all. So uh, I was like, you know, maybe I'll get it. Well, actually, no, I didn't even think about it. Like the anniversary came and went and I was like, oh, there was an anniversary box. So anyway, they started showing the stuff, y'all. <laughs> they had this, they had that desk pad and I was like, oh my God, I want it. So I've been, I was watching the emails. I was watching the text messages. I was like, I'm going to get that desk pad. Y'all, she did not order more than like 20 extras. Oh my God. I was so devastated. So anyway, by the time I got word of the mat being on the page or being on the website, I couldn't get it because first of all, I don't know why she does this. Like if she had listening, you know, it is what it is. I don't know why she does this. Like also, I don't know why they do this. So she gave the people who bought the anniversary box a code or early access to the extra. But like, why? <laughs> because y'all already got it. 
So why do you need extra? So that's just something that I just do not understand. And so I wanted that mat so bad, y'all. Like I was waiting on that mat and they was just like, ain't no more. And there ain't going to be no more. And like, I can go on and on about how I feel about that whole situation, but I'm not because the video over and the Lord must have knew that like I was going to go on and on and on about it. So nonetheless, y'all, Jess, thank you so much for collabing with me. And I appreciate you. Y'all check her out um, at my magical planner on here and on Instagram. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.